Hello. Welcome to the stream. My name is Ika. My name is Ika. I'm from Seafood Gaming. Welcome to the stream. So, it's been a while. How are you guys? I hope, I hope you are good. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> are you, are you guys doing good? Uh, my mouth isn't talking right now, but, but I am telepathically speaking to you. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes and, and know what I'm thinking. <laughs> How are you? Hello, child. Irony. Last right. Hello. Welcome. My name is Ika. <laughs> yes, yes. That's an Ika, yes. <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Okay, so the plan is, I'm gonna sing. <laughs> I'm gonna sing to you guys. I'm just gonna grab my mic somewhere. I don't know. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me just grab my mic. Hold on. Where is it? Fuck. Oh shit, I, 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 I cursed. Um, I'm just gonna, where is, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Good, good, good. Alright. Here we go. Oh my god. Fucking window. Hello? Okay. Alright. You guys ready? Ready for some songs? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I hope you're ready. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's see, where is it? Too much of the past for one to
Okay, that was uh, that was regression. Um, title is regression. Uh, s sung by someone from oh yeah, uh, Ayanga. There we go. All right, it's from Honkai Impact Third. If you guys knew that game, I got, I don't know. It's kind of popular. Uh, maybe it's somehow related to the game that I'm playing today. So um. Yeah, I'm gonna take away this microphone and switch into something a bit more, uh, a bit more comfortable, okay? Alright. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Um, hold on a second. Hold on a second, okay? Alright. Hello! Welcome to the stream! I hope that wasn't too cringe. <laughs> How's everyone? Did you get guys have a good holy week? I I I had a tiring one, that's for sure. I was so busy. Anyways. Hold on a second. All right, how is everyone today? All right So Hi, hi child. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Hope you're good Anyways, um, so today we're gonna do the 2.1 um Trailblazer mission Um, Let's see here Okay, okay, okay um, hold on. Where's- what's the game that I'm gonna play? Oh! <laughs> I start with- <laughs> I haven't logged in today, um, because I was so busy. I was doing stuff. God damn. God damn! Um... I'm doing okay. That's good. That's good. Okay is better than not okay. Definitely, yeah, yeah. I might do some um, dailies first, and then we're gonna con start with a thing. Okay. Hope that's fine. I I'm, if you he if you're hearing some noises in the background, I am sorry. That is the third floor in the apartment being constructed. <laughs> Anyways, I was logged out from my Honkai Star. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> four fifteen. Hi. So I, I saw last rights earlier. Um, I, I hope I didn't cringe him out or them out of the freaking. <laughs> okay. So, um, last week. I uh, we uh, I went to my family right, and there was this thing called uh, visit visita iglesia, where we visit churches, um, at least seven churches. Um, we we went to seven churches, and it was kind of tiring. Even though I'm not the one driving, I'm just going through the motions. You know, it's like 5 p.m. now. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're still working for some reason. Uh, usually at 5 p.m. They're already gone But I guess they have more things to do today. Oh Shit game will restart. God damn it. Okay um, So I, I heard uh, by the way a little announcement I heard that Someone won't be able to join us tomorrow for um, For the thing the thing oh what thing you, you ask um um i, I don't know um the, the persona persona um four golden tomorrow so i'm gonna move persona four and uh, hold on let me get my schedule here oh there it is okay 
Oh, I'm, I'm behind it though. I'm in front of it though. Um, where is it? Stealing school. What? What do you mean? Why are we stealing school Wi-Fi? Oh shit. I dragged the wrong thing. Alright, so it says here um Persona 4 Golden, then Darkwood. So instead of a uh, Persona 4 tomorrow, I'm gonna do Darkwood tomorrow. So we can VC tomorrow. Yay! Um Usually I let you guys do the talking while I fucking <laughs> play the game, but um oh well. That's how it is, you know. Um, so yeah, a little, little announcement. Uh, so I will be um, live tomorrow at 7 p.m. instead of um, 5, okay? All right. Yeah. Um, the person who can't, um, who can't, um, what do you call this? Who can't attend tomorrow is someone who who sponsored the fucking the freaking game so it's impossible to play it without him so i'm gonna need to play it with him okay not with him with him but he needs to be present at least <laughs> oh well it's what he paid it for probably i think maybe um okay game is finally up um bam 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 Oh, I still have Funny Cat going. Um, yeah. This is my old, um, <laughs> music. Before, before freaking autumn thing. Okay. Alright, game sounds. And here. Oh, I'm not here, I guess. Is this me? Oh, too big. There we go. Hi! Oh shit. Am I too small? I think I'm too small. There. Alright, there you go. Hi, hi, hi! <clears throat> Alright. I hope you like Ika, by the way. I hope you like Ika because um, I had this thought like back in saturday yeah saturday i was like oh shit it's april fools on monday what should i do i'm like um maybe i should just not stream and leave streaming soon for like 12 hours or something but i'm like uh uh, too simple, too boring. So I'm like, um, what if I I I make a, a model, a little silly little paint MS Paint ass looking model, um, and rig it in Live 2D. <laughs> so so um, I, I tried rigging it. Um, I managed to do the eyes. I was proud of the eyes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was proud of the eye part, but when it came to the face, like the turning of the head, I'm like, oh my god, it's so complicated, I can't do it! <laughs> Props to the artists that make models, bro. I wanted to do the head turn thing and the hair flow thing, but I can't do it in just two days. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I have so much shit to do too. So yeah, I I was doing the I thing last night, and I was like, oh god, it's simple enough. Then it went to the mouth. I'm like, okay, it's it's kind of hard. Then it went to the head turning, and I was like, oh my god, it's harder. Never mind, just the eyes then. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Ika, Ika Chan, that's my, uh, that's my evil, evil um, incarnate. <laughs> it's my new model. Ika is my new model. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll update her rigging in the future. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> okay. Oh, very nice. Oh yeah, I was um. I was farming for this treasures um, because I need money. 
Alright. Okay, okay. Alright, what is my dailies for today? Um... Just basically just play the game. Okay. Um... I need... I need this thingy. What do you call this? I haven't done this at all. Like, all right. I need golden. Um, here in Penaconi. Go here. Farm this thing. All right. Let's borrow someone. I'm gonna borrow Jepard. Um, yeah, looks about right. It was good for thing last minute. Yeah, yeah, yay! <laughs> I'm glad you like, uh, uh, I guess you didn't like it but that much, but yeah, <laughs> last minute April Fools. <laughs> so, a foregone conclusion. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Conflict is pitiless. Blade fodder. <laughs> okay, maybe this one. A foregone conclusion. Here is thunder. You don't look so good. <laughs> Show no mercy. Maybe I just do this once and then do the rest of the um dailies later, if ever. Stand down. Conflict is pitiless. You don't look so good. This ends here. Is that all? In the name of land, a will forged in ice. Never, Never falter. falter. What is your prescription? You have my gratitude. You're welcome. Blade of Moonlight. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Man, my Jingyu. It needs to be. <laughs> I need to work on my Jing Niu, but I need to work on a lot of people. Um, my freaking Dan Hong Il or Mibiter or Mibiter Lune is it's still at le like what level um, something? Show no mercy. A All will be revealed in lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Conflict is pitiless. Nowhere to run. <laughs> oh, goodbye, little fella. I have no choice. <laughs> okay. All right. Boop boop. Yay! Okay, that's the room. I'm just gonna finish my um my trailblaze energy later. Uh, but for now, I need to focus on the, um, whatchamacallit, game, the, the, the mission, or whatever. Face of Deceit. Yeah, I'm playing this now. Serenity. Serenity. Oh. For some reason, my eye has been twitching. I don't know why. All right, so for this um, adventure, uh, I want to put ratio in. Who wails? Huo Huo has a, an updated um, thing. Uh, oh, yes. Does a cure all for exercising evil really exist? Yes, 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 yes. All right, this one. Speed. Speed sounds good. Okay. 
Nah. She needs better HP, but oh well. Maybe that's good for now. Crit damage, what the fuck? <laughs> wow, what do you mean wow? Yeah, my my whole ho is shit right now, but I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna have ratio ho ho um sample um hmm I don't know maybe trailblazer. Just to get him in the team. Oh wait. I didn't add him. Alright. Um Jing Liu is iffy. Who who I don't I don't think I have Pano I I do. Okay. <laughs> Misha. Uh I don't uh I can't level him up right now. He's the only Pentaconi person that I have, I think. Probably. Um... So... It's either a Stellaron Hunter... Or a... Um, I'll get Sambo. I'll have Sambo. Ha -ha! Always an honor to have the Trailblazer by my side! Yeah! Okay. Alright, this will be my team. Um... Alright, where do I need to go? Oh, the Devil in Velvet. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa! Anyways, Devil in Velvet. Oh, and I'm in the guest room. Okay, so... Last time we went off. Oh shit. Last time we were here. Um, yeah. He showed Robin right here. Ah, Vegerine! What are you doing? What are you cooking? Um. Hold on, I have messages. I haven't replied to anyone. Where are you? Head over. Major, nah, okay. You can do it, Misha. Oh, okay. Package for the nameless. Okay. All right. Enough of that. What do you have for me? Sir? Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna- you're gonna see me simping a bit. Um... <laughs> sorry. The way he looks... Up... With those eyes of his... And his smile... Damn. Anyways, hi. What do you have for oh, me? friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Oh, I guess you just found her. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Could Robin actually... But how is that possible? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? Uh-huh. I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can she? testify for me. All oh, right. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. 
-hmm. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The uh. most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Okay. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Well, I did, somehow. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Mm. I see. So if you think you're in danger, you're gonna be awakened. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a Galaxy Ranger. An imposter, an unsought guest, an emanator who hides her true identity. You think Acheron killed Robin? Why no? They're both lesbians. They should have sold their idea there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? You fell asleep. Was my singing that good? Wow. Oh wait, that wasn't me, that was Ika. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just one side of the story. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't hear mom. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not a bad time to wake up to, right? Like, like uh, not a bad word to wake up to, right? <laughs> I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. Mm. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. I don't know. I, I don't... Mm. I mean, I need to know why Acheron killed the um, Annihilation Gang first. And then, maybe I'll know that she didn't really kill robin or she doesn't have malice or anything because i don't know you kind of trust acheron who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface okay next one i saw your dance with miss acheron all i'm saying is Maybe there's some more to this story than we think, you know? Maybe it's not all It's Aaron maybe has a reason to do it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Anyway. Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do, but you know all this. Mm -hmm. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. What? Hmm. I mean, hmm. I mean, I, I'm open to it, but... <clears throat> I need to ask Mom and Dad first. <laughs> I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. 
Mm -hmm. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way, they've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Hmm. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Oh shit. Nobody ever being the wiser. Not my nut falling when she said pop. Where's my nut? Oh my god, my nut's gone. <sighs> Can't have a nut lying around. Oh, there it is. I see my nut. Alright. Put the nuts in the trash. He sounds so fruity. He does. <laughs> That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. Whatever you say, honey. <laughs> uh, 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 aventurine. No, Aventurine is kind of like Topaz at the moment. Like, she had a bad impression at first. Aventurine had a bad impression too. <laughs> but they're all—they're just working for a big ass capitalistic um thing. I don't know. Before IPC seems seemed like an, uh, a faceless like organization for me that I got scared uh, like I, I got a bit like mm, I'm like what do you call this um guarded around it or cautious around it but seeing as we have Topaz and now Venturine I don't know maybe maybe it's not that scary we'll see I got something going. Go uh, you know what, what? What kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Hmm. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. If it's a bit, yeah, he has a point. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. You have friends around here? Who? This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. Well, but I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you, and the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Hmm. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice, and I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. A decision like that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The third one. A decision like this is way above my pay grade. Don't worry. Just head back and talk things over with your companions. <laughs> that navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. All right. Thank you for. Giving me a number. <laughs> giving me your number. <laughs> oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Money? So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Hmm. A venturing just sauntered off. <sighs> He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. 
What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? I have no clue. Oh my god, they gave me money. 50,000. Thank you. Holy shit. I'll put it to good use. Where could I put it? <laughs> oh. Buy it. Holy shit, bro. Alright. Hello, Black Swan. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Adventurine <laughs> is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. I mean, you had a deal with him. What do you think? He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. Oh, but, right. judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. Hmm. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. Hmm. I'm just gonna turn... Mm. Can I toss a die? Hmm. For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of all this. That is something I agree on. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Oh yeah! The little stab wound that they do. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. True. You think this is connected to Axelrod? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. Hmm. But without a doubt, she's the most special guest at this banquet. Yes, sure. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Okay. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are mm. worth thoroughly chewing over. That's true. I don't, I don't have any more. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Okay. Turn it to the chaotic dreamscape. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. We won't meet. I don't like this place anymore. Like, we saw Firefly die here and uh, Sam doing some silly little things. Like, Example A, burning everything in his path. Is Akron here already, or where are we? What's happening? Where? What are we doing? This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. 
and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. Hmm. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Mm -hmm. whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go, a small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Give me a card. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Private? What are you gonna do with her? <laughs> I'm sorry, Black Swan. I'm gonna read everything that you do you two do with each other, so I mean What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Okay. Akio. <clears throat> Akio! You still at the hotel at, in Dreamscape? Akio! Akio! Have you run into trouble? We, we got separated in the memory zone, but Akio is with the memo keeper. I feel so antsy! Help! March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Yes, please. Not at the moment. Sure. Just let me know if you need me. The Reverie. The Reverie Hotel is in the real world is very calm. Nothing much is happening. I'm done. Fish and get investigating my side. Where should we meet? Akio! Akio, it's great that you're safe. That lady didn't do anything bad, this the lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. These, the scene had been cordoned cordon off by the family. We're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet somewhere in the clocky statue later. A family wrap? Is... Ooh. Himiko okay? Hold on a second, let me just... Grab some water. I wanna eat more nuts, but... I know, it just doesn't feel right to eat more. Alright, let me just... I forgot about the new, um, area. I haven't been there. Oh god, I just realized that he has his toes out. <laughs> yes. Water. <clears throat> Hold on a second, let me just check this. Going. Does this he hmm. only have one? Hmm. Wait, he only has one idol? Wait a second. You only have one idol. No, he hmm. have two. Hmm. All right. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I've been seeing the other one so much. 
It, they did it three times while standing here. Oh. Oops. Where are we going? Oh, okay. Clocky Tower. Not Tower, Plaza. Oops. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Okay. Cutscene? Some time ago, deep in the memory zone. Perish on that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Hunter, run! Of those slain by your hand? <gasps> Hunter. Still on Hunter, yeah. Oh, days ago, Everflame Mansion. What? What is happening? <sighs> Oh my god. It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive. As are you. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. Mm-hmm. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that Eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. Is, is she's hunt? Oh. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die. Just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Okay. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was. They are flames that have yet to burn wide heart. They're still young, but I don't blame them. But my flames are faint, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? Mm -hmm. I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Ooh. You cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. I just realized, I think Duke Inferno doesn't have an endgame model. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible 
is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most huh? brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. <laughs> yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. What? This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. Oh, really reminds me of Zoro. He hides, uh, he doesn't really take out his third sword that much. No, I don't know, I don't know. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. She's Nayelity, right? May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Mm hmm? What? My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's Slave make you do it? Destiny's Slave? You know, Elio. Oh. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. I'm guessing the outcome is just what he has, but not the exact details. Hmm. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold oh. the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. Uh -huh. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. Huh? So... I know who is inside that cold armor. You do? <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, Hmm. Then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. Oh? I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. 
What's next then? The Trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. <laughs> Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That said, before we split, can I ask you one more thing? What is it? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Are, are they allowed to discuss that? Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Hang on. Hmm? I... Don't. Don't what? Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Hmm. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to... Dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. Hmm. So, I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. That's it? That's the memory? Present day, golden hour. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but... We never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. It's okay. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. Yeah. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Um, but he's not, I don't think he's 
bad. Um, I venture it's on guard against Akron. Indeed, he was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, no. I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? Hello, hater man. Welcome to the stream. I'm not a baby. I'm a grown-ass woman. <laughs> As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. I guess. We also need to keep yeah. a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, <laughs> and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've been bullied for... <laughs> Someone help me. It's fine. Let's focus on the big picture for now. <laughs> it's cool. He can bully me whenever. <laughs> uh, you... Oh. <laughs> no, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay. We'll collaborate. Always open to pull your for your game account. Oh, <laughs> so he can he'll pull for you. <laughs> Is he lucky? Then maybe <laughs> we'll collaborate. Wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll all be in this together. Here is a small something for your upcoming partnership. You have received 100,000 credits! Boy! That's a lot of money. Should be more prudent with it. Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra for the good luck with this new gig. Just as I anticipated more. The family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug for as long as they can. So her case is the only secret between us. Yeah, I gave it 200k! <laughs> but in the other case, that depends on what excuses they prepare for you guys. 
I'll take my leave for now, and I look forward to a to outstanding performance from you guys. How is that? Is that how he talks? <laughs> Looks like Aventurine is happy oh my God. with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Oh my god, he's really the child of this game, isn't he? <laughs> he just gives us some money. Clocky smell, oh. Forever Radiant, it is not yet known if his gaze reaches every dark corner in the realm of dreams. Uh, March! Checked off the list. Can't, why can't I tell everybody just in one go? I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. That everything's just some horrible prank. Maybe. Oh my god, that is her halo. I guess the same outcome in all choices. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> because... Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Do you think the family is all behind all this? No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Yeah, I get it. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us... We're all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Oh, you said it. It's so hot today. Like, holy shit, bro. Ah, <sighs> but then I... Be just like everyone else out on the streets. Hmm. Did I tell her what I was supposed to say? Anyway, Mama. Really Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps... He's going for the family? He's definitely going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Hmm. Is he going for the Astral Express? Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and hmm. is probing you. Maybe. Oh, well, Jeppy's wife, welcome to the stream. Yay! So much hearts. All right, no conclusion can be drawn just yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. Yeah. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. I know, right? 
All right, father. Oh wow, T wait, are you, am I tall as tall? I'm small. And then I'm tall. Wait, am I, are we the same size? We are, we are, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. All right, father. Aventurine said something that concerns me. Mm -hmm. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever. I know, right? But said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. He is a sussy boy. Does Aventurine have other plans? Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Hmm. She's... a very powerful woman? Weird. Oh shit. I, I can't? Weird. I can't seem to remember. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. Mm. No wonder she's a suspect. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Can we? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? Uh -huh. There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh-huh. Aww. I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. Dan Hong is having a time of his life in the express, okay? He's with Pom Pom, probably doing some massages, drinking wine, uh, having a facial, I don't know. <laughs> But we're having some trouble up in here. And um, I was gonna say, well, t three to one is not two groups, bro. <laughs> you said split into two groups. I thought uh, you're gonna have someone with you, bro. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Oh. Hmm. Yes. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Who are you talking to? <gasps> Akaron! I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. <laughs> uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. I was gonna say, Wilt recognizes her as Raiden May. Oh my gosh. Wilt. Wilt. Is there something about my name? It's Acheron. First, don't you want to know my name? Uh, 
I don't know. I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. Mm. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang? Mm -hmm. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. What? He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? It's out already, yeah. <laughs> if you don't want spoilers, uh, you should go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Keen intuition. See you later. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Oh, bro. He's threatening her. With gravity stuff. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. I spoil. Yeah, get out. Bye bye. Okay, Chad. Be careful. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? What do you mean? What else is she hiding? You mean as an emanator? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Mm. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. Oh, wow. Hi, that's me. Is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? Yeah. She's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I don't think she knows that, though. He's She's... fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. Um, I, 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 this is not the same right in May, but she is a variant of right in May. Just like how A or um, right in Shogun is. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize mm -hmm. the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Really? That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Mm -hmm. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? It's all the family. Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Yeah, I don't think she does. I think we can trust Adventuring too, as, as well as Acheron. 
but the problem is those those two don't trust each other. Um, the family though, that's where it's at. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. Four? Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Really? At the same time, Hotel in the real world. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, <laughs> chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. Is it though? An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you, what exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Are you sure you wanna go into that? Um, okay. All right, if you wanna. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Is that the um, marionette? Well done. Child. Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by a annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This mm -hmm. is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Sounds like Hazard Hotel. What do you mean? What? <laughs> what? Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. When have thou? On the path of destruction, fear and death. Is that the sun? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Please ignore. I am asleep. Okay. Question mark? <laughs> okay. <sighs> huh? What happened? Whoa, 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 what? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. 
And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... Hmm. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Is it I for all now? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do whoa, you serve whoa, whoa. the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Constance? A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> unforgettable time together. Isn't Constance one of the kids? But that seems unrealistic. Oh, Dahlia, Dahlia there you go. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet star. And I don't need a coming-of-age ceremony. And you... I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then... You can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you... Unforgettable memories. Hmm. Hello. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? At this moment, on the other side. Switching to Adventuring's POV. A few days ago. The IPC made an announcement. Yes, yeah, she also has a path of remembrance. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Huh, that kind of voice though. <clears throat> This is why, uh, this is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. I can't do it. I don't know. I can't be a, a, a like a voice over. <laughs> I don't have range. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm. Spurned by all the gods. Is this baby aventurine? Oh. <gasps> No. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Oh. When you took his father, my child, was still sleeping in my belly. 
And where my husband went, I too soon must go. Uh, he's an orphan. Fuck. Okay. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Oh, it's raining. Stop, I'm gonna fall asleep. Mommy! Mommy! Is that a different person? Mommy! The rain! It's raining! Raining? <gasps> raining! Adventuring is not an only child then. <laughs> it is raining! It's true! Those outworlders weren't lying to us! They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Uh, Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayathra. Oh, he was just born. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just Hockey. like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. My boy. Oh. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood Eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. <gasps> Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Kakavasha? That's his actual name! Oh my god. <laughs> Child blessed by Gayathra. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. Oh. <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Ratio. Oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. I didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. You try to see if you can kill yourself! In the dream! Bro... <sighs> That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. 
When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was Stow a away. stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. Nameless. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. Hmm. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already <laughs> exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Hmm? Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot oh, yeah. mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Oh. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. <laughs> to phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Sunday? Who? Oh. Sunday. Yeah. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? <laughs> if it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. Why is he so angry? <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Okay. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. 
Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Okay. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Why? Oh, as the story unfolds, you will have the chance to progress the story from another character's POV. Don't you cover it. Um, when entering the character's POV for the first time, the character will automatically be placed in your first in your team. You can check the Fate Atlas interface to see which character POV go uh, an ongoing mission or completed mission is in. If you change P your POV to continue the story, you can select the here to enter Fate Ensemble. For more details, please see the tu tutorials. Okay. Oh. oh well, I have a venturing right here. <laughs> hey. Woo. Yank. What a lovely song. Spin up that disc and sweet music will play out of the speakers, chap. So, if I put it, it if I put down something new, the then the recorder player, record player will be, will play a new track too. See ya. I'm off to sing the song for to the other buddies, chap. Bye. I found the salad. <laughs> This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. <laughs> I know a seat at the table. Huh. That's a big ass disc. The heck? Why is it so big? It's as big as. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's more than Aventurine's torso. Realized. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways, hello, Hendrick. Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Uh, invention? Excuse me? What? what? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. What the fuck is happening? Right. Kid. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, I want him. How far am I from my frigging pulse? Uh, records. Uh, ha 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 ha
I thought I was not in 50-50. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm scared. <laughs> 7 times 5 is 35, I believe. Um, so I have... 35 more. Um, how much do I have right now? That's one, uh, that's, um, that's, that's 15 pulls. Bro, I'm scared. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I need to gather stuff. Oh shit. A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? I got four gold and twenty pulls. Wow! For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, <laughs> with the mechanisms hidden in these nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. <laughs> I'll try brute force, actually. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get hit by a truck soon. Well... <laughs> Please don't get hit by a truck. No reward with no risk? I'll take it. Alright. So... Let's try this. Wait, no, no, no. That does this sparkly, holy shit. Solving a problem by brute force doesn't prove your intelligence. <laughs> the side room. Don't let me repeat myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this. I got this. Okay, got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Anyways, <laughs> all right. All right. There's that combo. Who was that? Alright. Is that combo? Oh, it opens, okay. And this, no. Hi. Is that combo? Might actually give up <laughs> on brute force. I just want adventuring to be right, but I am bad at this. Um, so I'm gonna...
Pam pam pam. Hold on. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Alright. I think this is right. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, 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 okay. With the teeth, what is that? can also solve things. <sighs> the Council of Mundanite should consider you as their member, for no one in this universe is more suitable to be there than you. Mundanites? <laughs> Mundanites? I mean, it makes sense, right? He would take a gamble. Like... <laughs> and he's lucky. So... Yeah? What does it say? What does it say? Ah! Wait... Where do I even see it? Oh! Got this though. Chotto, 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 chotto. Um. I don't <gasps> see it. There's that thing, though. Okay, okay, okay. So it has wind, too. Okay, okay. Feeling lucky. I wanna try him! Okay. Did I just hear Dr. Ratio? He's here! Dr. Ratio! Dr. Ratio is with his husband. <laughs> no, boyfriend. More like. Oh. Good. The stronger, the better. So he auto. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. So he counters. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I, I knew that, I knew that. I charge extra! <laughs> Your answers? A test. Zero points. I'm scared. Stay put. <laughs> sure, I'll play along. Sure, I put it wrong. Let's go. <laughs> Ratjurine, let's uh -huh. go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Help, help. You have? Hold on. Let me. Dirty tricks, all right. Let me do the um times one. Huh. 
Watch your head. Sounds like I more love business him. What knocking. the fuck? <laughs> it was. I don't even know the guy. Like. <laughs> Do you have answers? Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Get them. Move aside, amateurs. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. Hey, the hey. dice have been cast. That was so cool. I want, I want him. I want him so much. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Don't ask, just spend. Where'd you? What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. I can't. Bro. Try this on for size. <laughs> Never stop thinking. Zero points. Next. SAS Pekipi. Cranberry, welcome to the Knowledge stream. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Nice. Inside of something. Hi! What did you decide on? Mediocre. How was Holy Week? It was good. Fine. Mundane. Fail. Get out. All in. <laughs> Look at these two teaming Zero up. Punch. Oh my god. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Does he still okay? Nah. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> it wasn't holy. <laughs> Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Let's get back on the phone, the gambler guy. <laughs> I want him so much. Dude, he has a name. <laughs> His name is Aventurine or Kahabasha. Watch your head. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, I well, think we can we gotta make do it worth my while. Too. Or actually, I want to see him um, do the thing again. Can't lose this one. This the one. dice have been cast. Ah, he's so cool, he's so cool, he's so cool, he's so cool. You can borrow it from me? I'll, I'll try to get him, bro. Bust. Or... Maybe I'll take it off. He's so cute. I'm a. Let's just call him Gambler since ratio. Oh yeah, you're right. He calls him Gambler. <laughs> oh. Attack me. Watch your head. I hit the mark. Spend freely. Spend freely? <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> your answers. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! No need to rush. Patience breeds success. Hold on. Uh, IPC collector. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Answer me. Zero points. Essay and knowledge, the measure of truth. Essay and forgive me. I'm asking questions. A test. 
Like it always does. All right, where's the thing, bro? I don't see the thing. Oh well. Is it this one? Forward, forward, right. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll get it either way. <laughs> I I I I I haven't I haven't seen it yet, so careful with spoilers. Okay. Oh, impressive. <laughs> so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacony. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. No spoilers, yes, please. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be careful. Oh, I see treasure. Doctor Ratio, can you move this build? This, this, you're a strong man, right? <laughs> What is that? What? Whoa, whoa, sweeps for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. <gasps> Verdant manager. All right. Hold on. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. 
<laughs> oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. <laughs> he, I, he's so annoyed with him. <laughs> Jesus. a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. He sounds so flirty. He does. I don't know why he talks like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratio's like tone is always like annoyed. Like, get serious. <laughs> there wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with Man. your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Once your gambling addictions. <laughs> he, his, 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 um, uh, what they call that? Uh, his status is like, I'm open for, like, pulling for your game. <laughs> of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Fine, fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? I mean... <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, Chub, how did you find me when I hit so well? Huh? I think I hear something. Chub, Chub! So I was a feather away from being perfectly hidden, Chub. Next time, I'll remember to hide somewhere it's even sneakier. Don't forget to come and find me again, chap. I need more! Fix a gambling addition before I had it. Oh, really? <laughs> Alright. Ooh. <gasps> Hold on a second. Just the matter. Hold on. Corner. Corner. Can't go wrong with corner. Unless... It should be it. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And it's like this. Yeah. Okay. And green. Yes. Green. This one? Nope. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Really? <laughs> it is doubtful. But why, why do you say? Feeling lucky. For the theater of the mediocre. <laughs> Fucking bye. <laughs> Found it. This is it. Hmm? Oh. Well, I need to get there, sir. Yeah. 
Okay. Treasure. Okay, okay. Hear it, chip oh. falls on your head. Yeah. Good, the stronger the better. Just free. Wait, wait a second. I just realized something. I'll check him later when we're outside. Spend freely. The ducks have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Gotcha. You fool. Oh. <laughs> I'm asking questions. But <laughs> it's not money, it's it's chips. We're just having fun. <laughs> you know, gambling chips, casino stuff. Yeah. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. I'm sorry. Zero points. I can do this. SAS. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Sadly, I don't, I don't have anything against the other ones. Hey, I'm just the a double. No dirty tricks, all right. <laughs> Watch your head. I'm asking questions. A test. Zero points. Sure, I'll you play along. Girl, okay. We can't relate. <laughs> it's on me. I'm scared. Stay put. Oh, well. Do you have any idea how much those ketchup costs while well loaded enough to? <laughs> That's true. That's a lot of casino chips. Oops. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Bro, he just gave me like 200k. Oh, 50k initial deposit for me. And he gave me 200k when we when we freaking um 
uh, like uh, confirm that we're Can gonna we help bring him. Bring out the big guns already. <laughs> Your answers. Answer me. Fail. Get them. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers, I charge extra. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I love that. I love him. <laughs> I don't know anymore, bro. It's unhealthy. It's the same obsession with Chaya. Like, I really, really want to pitch him or something. Zero points. Watch your hand. We're just having fun. Answer me. Freedom. Got them. Beat that AO. <laughs> Spend freely. Ooh. It's the same energy the with Kit Child, bro. Or Be, maybe uh, I'll take uh, it uh, in, in Genshin. In Genshin. Oh. Yeah. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers. Yeah. I charge extra. I don't know when I when I see a a, a, a character that I like. I'm like, okay, that I'm one. I'm questions. gonna fucking obsessed with him. I, I obsess about him. <laughs> to make sure, yeah. Plus gambling cheeks. No. <laughs> Not the cheeks. Uh -huh. How many turns is that? No dirty tricks, alright. How many turns does Watch his is his um? Okay, that's a lot. I want him now. I really, really want him. Your answers. He's also a good um preservation. Two for one, bro. Free. Watch your head. And he has uh, counter attacks. Got him. Head your bets. It's on me. Oh, why did it do that? <laughs> yeah, I did it. Oh. Well, no, not really. They they can like whoever they want. He has a boyfriend. I'm what do you want to betray my boyfriend. customers? <laughs> I charge extra. Her girlfriend. Well, I don't know what Jongli is, but <laughs> I'm a shipper. Please don't at me. I'm gonna. Say yes. I'm gonna bang a little chips out here, okay? Oh my God! There's a two. <laughs> there's a round two. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just Did you fun. know that his shield also give? <gasps> really? He does? Oh. <laughs> That's it. I want to have him. Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all. <laughs> Not him. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. I can do this. Oh, uh, Miranda! Right. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. Test. Uh. Stop. Stop. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? Shrimp, I charge extra. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. I can do this. We had shrimp today. Maybe that's why. Hedge your bets. Is two turns. Um, diamonds. Yeah, one turn remaining. Okay, well. Spend freely. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure if he's snapping his face, because I'm like Michael Jackson's <laughs> dance and array. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. We're just having fun. Sutsya! Free! Your answers? Answer me. 
Zero points. He's not critting. Ratio, please crit. You dare attack me? Watch your head. Fiends or devils? Oh, I'll crush them all. them all. I'll crush them all. I don't know. Either way. Uh -huh. You fool! The dice have been bust. <laughs> or maybe I'll take it off! More business, eh? Uh, I'm asking questions. Test! <laughs> Zero points! Uh. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. It's gonna take fun. a while. Your answer. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Daniel, please come out sooner already. I know. I know, right? I, I want him to come already. About come out. I mean. <laughs> Such degeneracy. Eh? Come on, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm asking questions. A test. Zero points. I don't need. Uh, Watch your head. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I want another moon. Okay. Stay put. Get them. Sure, I'll play along. <laughs> We're just having fun. Look. Your answers? Answer me. Oh my god. <laughs> you dare attack. More business, eh? <laughs> what? I didn't say anything wrong. wrong. To betray my customers. The heck? I charge extra. Uh, you're, maybe you're the dice uh, bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Maybe you, your guys are weird. Not me. Test. Zero points. Oh. Say a knowledge, the measure of truth. But the only not only son. Oh my gosh. Hey, watch the face. Get them. Free. Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all. What? Yeah. That was. I didn't. Mm, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Oh, hey! Is this the one? <gasps> Ooh! Yes! <laughs> Wish. Alright. Bro, everything skills and death. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Um, if you give gambler death and everything, can dish out. Oh, really? What does this have? I can't. Okay. God damn it! God. Hide. <gasps> Where did it go? Oh yeah. <gasps> it's 
so you can see adventure in story high crits as well ah i see boss stone's minions will experience truly true calamity when hanu gets his hanu launcher um after t taking aim at an enemy fire the uh, hitting the fire button will unleash the hanu rocket hanu ro rocket and consume ammunition Am enemies will drop ammo after being defeated if one round of ammo hits multiple enemies more ammo is dropped at once brother if brother hanu have no more ammo left he you can turn to the hanu launcher position to unlock the rocker again punch one ammo <laughs> okay so i can fight with this so i have one ammo Is that ammo? If you use Hanu rockets, ignite fireworks or trigger an explosion that defeats enemies. I didn't know it defeats enemies! Bro! No, no. <laughs> I should have waited for that bitch to come back here. Is there something out there? No, not really. So good. Hey. Okay, that was nice. I like that. <laughs> I like the rocket. You bitch. I need to go back to my original form. <gasps> Experience being a tiny one. Hope you like that adventure. <laughs> He's the only way. We oh. oh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. <laughs> what you do know, you this mean reminds by that? me of a tunnel I once saw <laughs> that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. <sighs> you always sound so annoyed by him. Insert the Gulliver's Oh, this reminds me of one of those building Arch. toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. 
We could buy one now, right now. And play with it. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? I don't know what's next. Are we gonna go in the city? Ah! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Tiny Venturine! And big ratio. <laughs> well, it's normal, but normal ratio <laughs> here's what you get about saying tiny so freaking condescending <laughs> uh, oh good heavens D did i drink <laughs> am i still in a dream <laughs> he's panicking he sounds different again <laughs> Hold on a second. Tiny, tiny. Indeed. <laughs> oh, Doctor, you're huge. It's me! <laughs> Down here! In the, <gasps> the sand pit! He's. I love how he sounds so different. <laughs> He's, he doesn't sound so flirty anymore. <laughs> no. Doctor, you're huge. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. I I don't know about that. <laughs> he's be like, he'll be like, don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. Where is he? Doctor Ratio. Oh my God! I was flabbergasted. Yeah. Hello. Are you okay, <laughs> Doctor? I think I want to go back. <laughs> oh well, Doctor's with me though. Right here in my team. Oh, what? Um, stuff crashed. Hello, okay, okay, okay. I don't wanna be alone tonight. Lead you to my endless guys. There's nothing else left for me to do Waiting to the other side Other side I don't wanna be alone tonight Please fit to my best disguise I don't need, don't need to know the truth Let me wait forever in your life Wanna be alone tonight? I'll lead you to my best disguise. And no one needs no need to know the truth. Let me wait forever in your life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I back? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm back. Hello! Hi! <laughs> what is that? What did you send me? Tone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I 
Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> it looked like an owl, but it actually spat out an origami bird. Well, aren't you surprised, chap? Ah, uh, there's something there that feels invisible. <laughs> Fortunate one. You shall enjoy a day of great luck. Goodbye, chap. I must go and search for the next owl. Bye. Oh, Nani? Oh. <laughs> People are broken. Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> Lousiest soldier, I can see. <laughs> Why you be lousy? What's happening? <laughs> Bro. This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. I was tripping when I was... <laughs> really? Oh, is it really like this then? Like... <sighs> oh, it's a base model, that's why... <laughs> Seen this picture before. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be like Lego people. Hot, 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 hot. Like, I am a family soldier. I love that they're in the with no risk. No, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm in the industrial scum. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Industrial scum. I need a five star review. <laughs> oh, there's the thingy. The gamble thing. Gumba. <laughs> Hello, I am an NPC. I I see. I, I I can't figure it out without you saying that. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Start with this one. Hi. Don't put them in the wrong spots. Okay, I'll try. Um, here and here. 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 An unsurprising win. He, uh, his his um, luck a reward thing with no risk. reminds me I'll a lot. Reminds me a lot of Nagito Komaeda. The fuck? <laughs> I 
Is there more here? Oh, I see that there's a gambling thing up here, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Let's check like fortune clock. Yeah. I need to listen to if I can stop one heart from breaking. A comfort batter roost. Ooh, crockwork. Crockwork? Core. Ooh. Um. Oh, here. Okay. There you go. Serpentine, serpentine. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Serpentine, 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 serpentine. Okay. You can't get me. Hello, sir. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak Soldier. <laughs> I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Um, tell me about the guided tour. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <laughs> I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. <sighs> hey, I was talking to you. Model, happy to be of service. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> Who who voiced you? Kick <laughs> <laughs> again. The nearest check in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule. A machine model. 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 After screaming, the soldier collapses. He didn't have time to earn a five-star rating from you. Oh. What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. I saw nothing. <laughs> God. <laughs> he sounds like God. All right. Oh, capsule machine. There's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. <laughs> so, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. <laughs> that was Funny so that Sunday though. puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> meme? What meme? Okay, you can send it there. Oh my god, it's, it's been... It's been three hours! 
I'm still here. Bro. Feeling lucky. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I have to fight them, huh? Oh, oh, oh. maybe, maybe, maybe. For the theater of the mediocre. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Wait, I entered through here, right? But then I noticed this dude. Or was it different? <laughs> different, different person, different per place. <laughs> oh, great! There's another pinball machine base here, and it's empty too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Bro. What's the meme channel? Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see uh, what we're talking about in Discord, then you can go to Patreon, get the um, Discord access. You can uh, cancel Patreon if you want. But if you want to support the channel, you can continue, okay? It's a free trial for seven days. Um, I have, I have something that I'm planning to do in Patreon, so watch out for that. I don't see the meme channel though. I mean, it's here. It's here. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. We're just having fun. I don't have a beefy. Um, what are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Got the defense? Answer me. Zero points. Lands at the red. Lands a blaze. Lance! Forward! More business, eh? <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. A test. S.A.S. Pekipi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. I'm on guard. I'm scared. More business, eh? Answer me. Fail. We're just having fun. I'm asking questions. I'm industrial scum. <laughs> yes. Fiends or devils? 
I'll crush them all. I need to improve her um, energy regeneration. Get. Lance of Blaze. Lance! Forward! We're just having fun. To betray my customers, I charge extra. A test. Zero points. SAS Pekip. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Not bad. Five points. Let's go. Just as my calculations predicted. For the theater of the mediocre. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Bye, bitch. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. <laughs> place some water on the sand pit. Oh my god. He's so big. Big boy. Thanks, Doc. Okay. What's the energy thing? Nice. <sighs> Hi. Oh, Horatio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. <laughs> if that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> he perfumes himself. <laughs> he found it. Yeah, thank you, Cranberry. <laughs> oh, what of you? Goodness. Not him flirting, come on. <laughs> Bro. Got it here. <sighs> Hold on. Piece of cake. Be gracious. <laughs> I just go here once, right? Feeling lucky. So that means oh. I need ice. Hold on a second. What is my build for her right now? Help! Help! 
Hedge your bets. Spend freely. Commencing nice. support. Ready for another? <laughs> Watch your head. Answer me. Zero points. <laughs> I'm scared. Strike at them. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. Nice. Oh. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Ah, uh -huh. we have the upper hand. Hm. Zero points. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. I miss Pela actually. A test. Free. Two turns. Huh? Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Answer me. Zero points. Whoa. Fifty-one. Look at him. He crits like that, but he gives you ten k every, no almost every time. Watch your head. Sure, I'll play along. It's on me. Dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. All in. Commencing support. I need to pre farm for him. Seriously. Enemy he needs to be secure. good, Net like activate. really good. good to partner with my ratio. Your answers? I mean my ratio is not good good, but he's very nice. He I think he's one of my like best ones besides Sambo. Um <laughs> Watch your head. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm asking question. Answer me. Zero points. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. I can do this. My oh god. Get them. Free. Ratio is a gift for F2 piece. Yeah, I know right. Zero points. Bro. Opportunity doesn't knock on its own, you know. Oh, sorry. Hold on. And the 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 the, 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 the what how do you call this? The AC is leaking. Huh. Hmm. Oh, I can use this. Okay, there you go. Looking sassy as always, yeah. Yeah. How, did you look at like leaks? Huh? Enemy targets detected. 
test. Zero points. Enemy data net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. I'm gonna hold everyone. Get them. Fiends <laughs> or devils, I'll crush them all. Mediocre. Commencing support. Ah, huh? uh, the dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. All of it. You're on. Answer me. Free. Get them. Help, help. Watch your head. <laughs> all in. We have the upper hand. Head your Enemy data to net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. I'm scared. Stay at them. Please quit. Ah, fuck. Okay. Whatever. <sighs> Hold on. Piece of cake. So I need to go down now. I teleport to the other one here. Can I go there, though? Yeah. Yeah. Just something out here. For the theater of the mediocre. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Mm, makes me feel sad. Does it? Well, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. I mean... Just looking at the ratio. <laughs> All right. Ah, actual size. Well, Doctor, you're still very big, but um, I mean, you're still taller, but it is better this way, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. 
Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. <laughs> Are you prepared? Wait, it double up. Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Is that so? Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. <laughs> Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction? The IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding Ooh. inside the family. Traitor, uh, huh? Um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? Yeah, she's not family, right? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. Mm -hmm. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. Oh. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Negotiation? Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Grandest death? If the chance of winning is just beyond this Ooh. door... Even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> you can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Hmm. Well, uh, time to face the music. Oh, there he is. Oh, hold on a second. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC Ambassador. What's with that energy you're giving me? I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. He, he has the kind of mouth, kind of smile, like, like freaking Jingyuan. <laughs> I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Mm -hmm. Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He has already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. Is that right? I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. 
The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. Hmm. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? You're one of the suspects. If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. Did he hear him? No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. <laughs> Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. All oh, these bold letters. It's more disheartening. She can't sing anymore. Bro. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Hmm. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry, I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine, since you're so selfless and generous. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Hmm. <clears throat> well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money, and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the Strategic Investment Department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. Preservation Emanator, what? For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Don't sleep yet, Aki. I know, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you're out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Hmm. Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. What are you getting at? Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order <laughs> before leaving the house. I'm just looking at my phone, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. What? I don't trust that smile of his. It's, it's eepy. <laughs> no room for negotiation. Uh-oh. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. <laughs> Look at this smug look! Oh my god, I need to. Where is it? Uh. Actually, I should include the freaking dialogue box. Um, hold on. Oh my god. Sunday is no day. 
<laughs> when you reject someone. <laughs> sure. The gift With money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. Tell you what? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What <laughs> exactly is stored in it? <laughs> oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. What the fuck? What is he pulling? What? <laughs> what have you done? Bro, they're scary. They're scary. Oh my god. So they can just do that? You can't lie in front of him? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Bro, bro. And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Oh no, oh no. Ah, uh, Aventurine, you better not have done something. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. Bro. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. What? <laughs> I, I don't talk much. Why am I in poverty? What? <laughs> Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Mm, did he? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Wow. Sunday needs to be, like... I'm just seeing, uh, like, I'm just checking his, like, questions and wow, he's like... He's like, okay, I gotta be specific. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Oh my god. Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? What does that mean? Anything? Uh, it doesn't matter, right? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? I don't think so. No. Does it matter? Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes, he does. He yes. doesn't have one. He doesn't have one, though. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? Yes. No. 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 Are you your clan's sole survivor? Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. He's not sure. Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Why are you asking that? <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? What's with the bird? Hmm. He's not answering. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, he is. Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Uh, 
Come on. Please. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Is it not inside? It's not! Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Why did you make him open it? Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? Even Topaz is there. Oh, you're right! Oh, wait, you're right! Why does he... why does he have both? Aventurine and Topaz. I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. <laughs> I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake <laughs> more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Hmm? Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. Clearly. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? There's two of them, bruh. One is Topaz's. <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Ten. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Especially after your sister's death. Yeah. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique. And only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Right. Because he's from the Intelli Intelligentia Guild. And they're partnered with the IPC. Oh my god. Or funded, I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. His topazes. <laughs> Someone else's. The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. Where, where did he get it then? 
the safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your oh. hands from the very beginning. It's not in the fancy box, okay. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Hmm. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. How does he know... How does he know Aventurine that much? As for the villain... <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. He, he, is he calling Aventurine a villain? I'm a villain. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you rat. <laughs> <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's Consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, mm -hmm. transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, oh, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a mm -hmm. servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Is it April? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Hmm. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at. Isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will He's wait not. here for your good news. That's bullshit, bro. This rigged. Goodness. What is this bird? This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. What it's is an it? outright execution. It is. 
<laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. <laughs> I, I like his little Sunday's little like laughs, like <laughs> like he's on the fucking edge, bro. A little push, and he'll fucking murder everybody. <laughs> By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it? What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? <laughs> Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. Sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. Yeah, but sentimentality, mentally, you know. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. One? What happened exactly? Tell me. Oh my god, I just realized he also had, like, siblings, sister, at least a sister, like, fucking child. Oh my god. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Huh? <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. I don't know. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. Kakavasha. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy because mom left you this necklace. There'll be no next time. It is important, hmm. but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance, and that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Hmm. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Hmm. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. Hmm. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? Quicksand. After all, Dad went to the Catechins land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. Till the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? I mean... No, no answer to that. Um, excuse me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? 
The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Hmm... Is it possible to access these records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Gallagher? Gallagher? Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Hmm. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly, so I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. She doesn't know. Hmm, I'm sure. She doesn't know! Sure enough. No one knows hmm. about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. I guess she's a Even stowaway, she's a right? Stowaway, hmm. She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Stellar one hunters? The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. Oh, yeah. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Probably. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <sighs> Who are you guys? What? Hello? The Bravo team what the has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Boss, get moving! Uh, uh, armed evacuation? <laughs> Boss, aren't you drunk? <laughs> what? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, <laughs> report later. Understood. Oh, this is, sounds fun. Help! Help me! I spent all my year <laughs> bonus on the snowball! Snowball? I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice! Uh, wh 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 why is it that expensive? What, what kind of snowball is it? Is it good? <laughs> hey, check it out! That place! Oh yeah! Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? To all guests! The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Topaz! Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> oh, long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> It's fine. Do as they ask, and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <laughs> yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Yeah. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier Prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. 
Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Really? Only a Venturine? No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all yep. helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? It'll take the spotlight off me. <laughs> Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Okay. Nice. 69. Very nice. Oh, wait. Wait, really? That means... <gasps> Level rewards, let's go! Hold on a second, okay? Oh, Misha. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Hey. Did I get it? I didn't get like oh okay. Oh wait, I can't. Yeah, yeah no. You two didn't mind. Alright, it's um that time of the month. Let's do this first. I can buy the other ones later. It's mutual demise, all right. All right. <laughs> Reverie. Reverie. It's getting late. Where to now? How does it feel to be in business with a Venturine? Nope. I bet you're not used to it. That's. Just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. <laughs> He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. Oh, okay. He's that good, huh? It works only when all parties' interests align. <laughs> of course. It's business, after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. Well, his luck is not really helping him right now. Oh no, he's having a trouble, trouble. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Okay. Well, hey. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What? What do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Oh, you mean, you mean the time that you thought that Firefly is a stowaway? So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Yeah. Remember me? <laughs> uh, uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. 
Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into <laughs> people you've beaten up before? I don't know. Uh, I got business with your captain. Where is he? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh, uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. He's at Dream Edge, then. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, th 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 that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. Mm. But they did at least tell us <laughs> that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Uh, why yep. don't we just look for the security officer, then? It's probably Gallagher, the one he mentioned, right? Gallagher. See ya, Topaz. Um, where are we going? In a dream. In a dream, in a dream. Okay. I think I'm missing one. Um... Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Uh, Gallagher. Uh, Gallagher. Uh, where could he be? He's somewhere. There he is. <sighs> Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. That's fine. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. Hi. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? Hello, Jeppard's wife. Welcome back. This ain't it, Chief. You got the wrong guy. That's right. It's a me, Glocky. <laughs> you think you look alike? <laughs> How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Uh, is he doing it right now? <laughs> huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher oh my God. you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, um. please leave! There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another way? Oh, that's it! <laughs> Didn't they say something about that... Oh, uh, what was it? Okay. Clockwork? So now I'm gonna Back do it. Back this guy to change his mind? Can you perform it again? That... Uh, clocky magic! Just what I've been waiting for. But I can't abuse it for evil doings. <laughs> it's not bad if we're resolving a misunderstanding. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, sir. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. Everyone, please leave. You and this bloodhound family member have met before, and you know he's very upright. But you're also weird principles sometimes, no matter when a person is in a good mood. Calm, angry, happy, sad. <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Whoa, 
It's this time already. What? <laughs> time to clock out. And no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> Bye. The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily as he left the scene. Uh, what? Bye. Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours. It's kind of dangerous. Is that a clock on me? <sighs> At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Are those bubble gums? Ugh. The I was wondering those? what all the commotion was. Oh, hey. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. God, that voice. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course yeah. I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this gentleman in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. Wait a second. Does he have the same VA as Welt? Well, what is going on here? Well, Yang, English VA. He just sounded like. I'm sorry if it's not the right one. Or Landis, okay. Um, Gallagher. Eric Ba. Oh. That's so cool. It's just the gruffness and the uh, of the voice. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the, the, that's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. Child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it in the hopes of getting justice for her. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. nothing. <laughs> On Pentacony, everyone loves the family. Mm -hmm. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. <laughs> you want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. At this moment, on the other side, Welt? Or, um, Venturine? Hello? Even after that oh, chilling well. tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Pinnacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the Divine's. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, mm -hmm. and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. 
as people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. Hmm. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. And then quickly lets go in a blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Did she just kill someone? Hello? <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Oh. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacony. Oh. Ask away. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Hmm? Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. Mm -hmm. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Garment? Well, who was that? <laughs> Garden the Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people Papeshi. is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. Papeshi. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, hmm. only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky, while those around him continued on their way, unfazed. What the fuck? Kind of dystopian. How about the blue hour? I hear the blue hour is uh, very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persist endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Oh. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness oh. was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. 
What the moment of dust? The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism. The moment of consumerism. dust. Consumerism. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even, Even the dreams, dreams themselves. Yep. I saw an Intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Oh, that's everything. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Really? Nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? <sighs> if this indeed is the world people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, I see. Miss Acheron? Now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. Are you talking about... Otto? He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Mm. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. By the way, by the way, um... Ooh. This music. Anyway, by the way, summer. Summer is a oh, a big, wealth young fan, <laughs> and um, she really appreciates the Penacony, um timeline because he has a lot of lines here. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Yeah. <laughs> because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend soaring Ooh. towards the sky and embracing his final victory 
with yeah. his fall. Yeah. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. Hmm. A fitting metaphor for the Nameless's trailblazing spirit. Yeah. Hello, Cranberry. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. This channel would put person behind the avatar. Each person sees a different person. Um... Uh, this channel is a different person. It's, oh, sorry, each season is a different person. I'm the only one that has a VTube model. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. Uh, but if you're curious, I'm going to show you them. I, I have it saved, right? Hold on. To the strongest entity in one place. I uh, know, right? I'm gonna show you. Um. Uh. Well, it's not a full like thing. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in. It's the banner. It's the YouTube banner. Right here. That's the four of us. Um. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so that's me right there. That's Winter. She's she's my girlfriend. Uh, Summer is the one that is a wealthy young fan, and the, and the and and our our local. Um, uh, she's more of a cosplayer than uh, we are, because she uses cosplay to be, uh, you know, to be more known in the online. Uh, and Yuki, oh, I'm sorry. Um, her name is uh, Spring. Spring. Uh, <laughs> Spring, um, she's our artist, um, she arts a lot, <laughs> arts a lot, <laughs> and she knows a lot of artists too, well, not, she doesn't know any VTuber rigor, so there's that, I know I asked her once, <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, and Batotsama is gone. Bye bye. Whoopee. Bye bye. Yuki Snow though. Yeah, but um, it's her other name. I I sorry. Uh, <laughs> it is weird. Um, cause her nickname is Yuki, but it should be Haru. But we, there's already a Haru here somewhere that's not here present. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what Summer, Summer's other name is? Midori. Midori. Which is like green. Um, Aki's the mascot of the channel. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue this. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. Witnessing their Neither destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you. Harusama, Haruto, Haru. <laughs> There's a lot of Harus around here. No, no bro. <laughs> Midori. <laughs> because you met her, irony. You met Midori before. <laughs> Even if not completely similar the story you just told 
It overlaps with my past. Yep, yep, yep. And within that abyssal dream, I ended that man's life alone. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? That man, which man? I don't, I don't see the, the subject here. Who did you kill? I forgot. <laughs> I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus yeah, far? Yeah, I'm the man. <laughs> yes, you do have a memory of a goldfish. Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. Mm -hmm. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. Crying the man. I should put you in a... Sh in some plan... <laughs> some plastic. Why so specific? <laughs> They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Mm. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Mm hmm Naoli? Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? So, wait, this phone has been ringing for a while. It goes, it, we got it all for you. Echo back. <laughs> Mercury. <laughs> what are we talking about? Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacony? Acheron. What the fuck? Whose voice is that? Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacony? Acheron. Is that Boot Hill? This voice. It's not Constance. Oh. Could it be her companion? Er, uh, is it the brother? Who is this? No, I don't know exactly what you are. What you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Pentacony and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you. It's Arthur. him! It's him! It's Boot Hill! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's Booty Hole! <laughs> Boot Hill, sorry. <clears throat> Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Mm hmm. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? <laughs> I like his voice. Uh oh. Uh, Aventurine is still number one. Oh, wait, no. Jeppy is number one for me. Um, Aventurine is somewhere there, but Boot Hill, I'm on the lookout for you, baby. 
<laughs> before you only use a streamer in this channel well yeah uh, but time to time um, the three of them might join me the thing is though the thing is though um, spring doesn't have her PC um, like working so we can't we probably won't be able to be um, like streaming together um, I'll I might um, check about summer though winter pops in time to time um, she's here uh, especially during minecraft days um, but as for me Dori or summer I might be able to coax her into doing something with me <laughs> Booty binky, booty implants, weakness. By the way, <laughs> no. I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. I'm the girlfriend of Acheron. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. <laughs> I miss my queen. Um, I don't. Uh, it was her birthday yesterday. Did you know? <laughs> uh, Fuyumi. Fuyumi? What do you mean, Fuyumi? F just Fuyu. Fuyu chan. Why does he sound like Ghostface calling Sydney? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are. That makes aren't sense. You? He's hunt. Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Uh, please send my regards. I'm the jester now. Well, I do get her. Uh, I do make sure to get her entertained. If you know what I mean. But <laughs> I was too scared to greet her. Bro, she doesn't bite. Well, she does, but only to me. Okay. Mine's on September. Ooh. Oh my god. So, someone has a birthday in August, then the second one has a birthday in September, next one I have a birthday in October, then the next person has a birthday in November, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, 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 I forgot! Um, oh, it's child's birth month, isn't it? Entertain, yay. <laughs> I'm the jester. Um. Wait a minute. She bites you? Well, yeah. Like, I don't know. Especially when she's hungry. Like, <laughs> like seriously, she needs to stop. <laughs> it is! Yay! When? Ex I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm not good at dates and names and numbers. <laughs> Woo! Birthday month! Yeah! Oh my god. There's another leak. Hello? When will you ever stop, bro? Oh. oh. Alright. Why is it that I remember Charles' birthday with a mom's? I don't know. I don't know, bro. 11. <gasps> That's why you asked about, about the 11. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. <sighs> well, <sighs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak. 
and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. He'll be in Pinnock Honey, too? I don't believe everything today. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> uh, have you seen those, um, like, Genshin anime July 2024 thing? Bro, stop. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't joke about that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that lady's passed. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron mm -hmm. is an emanator who should not exist. Who should not exist? What do you mean? Oh shit, Venturine. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Baby, are you okay? Hello, pure poor Yurling. Yeah. You look pale, or is that also part of your act? Shut the fuck up, Ratio. You don't know shit. <sighs> <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. Traitor. Asshole. <laughs> Traitor. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. What do you mean? After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. What? Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Okay, it's triggered. I am. I am. Look at him. <laughs> My conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Peniconi. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Hold on a second. I heard something in the sink, so let me just check our cat. Show doesn't want no no BS for real for real yeah oh my god guys our cat our cat 
Open the drawer. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? I guess he can, but what the... Uh, the handle is at the bottom. He can't claw that, right? Or can he... Uh, whatever, whatever, fuck. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. Shut up. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panicomi. What the hell, right? You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. Well, you don't give cats and some cornflakes. <laughs> he he opened the um um that, that drawer where you put the uh the, the spoons and the forks in, that's what he opened. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What is this? It looks... What? <laughs> I'm sorry. The end, the bottom part looks like a feeding bottle, like... It looks like a feeding bottle. What is this? Is this a scroll? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what is this? Um, is this a beacon? Cat just doesn't want to eat you too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Apparently. Medical advice? <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, doctor. <laughs> Wait, really? The influence is still with him? <gasps> Good night, child. Thank you for stopping by. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. Wing relic, yeah. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. <laughs> Thank you, child. Bye bye. Mundane inside. Mundanite's inside. Um. Doctor's prescription. Wait. Wait. Wait, did he just give him, like, uh, a totem of undying? <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> just eventually, just remember to hold it on your, on your offhand when, <laughs> when you feel like you're in trouble, okay? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Two Icarus. <laughs> Dance macabre. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. The, wait, what? He still has a little thingy. Uh, so is this like a poison? On him? Whoa. Hold on a second.
its way here I got these gems for you you wait I get it now this is some sort of prank show right you must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds right I'm not an influencer don't get me wrong I'm not mr. beast I'm, I don't do this for free <laughs> You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly <laughs> great show never comes easy. Oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Huh? Well... Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought <laughs> of that idea. Graham's no TikTok. I don't know. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Now, oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. Oh, the sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. Okay. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. Meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Hey. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Here, I got these gems for wow, you. Wow, how fabulous! But why Meme. would you give such a wonderful <laughs> gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. <laughs> That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please. Feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Hmm? Death? That's it a is. pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Really? It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shibe protect us. 
Shippy. Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. <sighs> the disturbing voice in my head. Laugh. <laughs> it's getting closer. Bro. Everything's full of sugar. It's dirty. Wait, what? I know this. A new model of wristwatch by the Sten family has just hit the market. No. Yeah, oh no indeed. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> oh there you go. No! Don't jinx me. I, I have this. I ha I can do this, okay? Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay. Let me, let me try my luck here. Ah. Uh, this place. I remember when Dr. Rachel was so big that he... Um, he... Turned this thing. <sighs> Good times. Oh, right, I don't have those. Okay. okay. Take care, my friend. Shut up. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Wait. That's Ratio's voice. <laughs> <laughs> The expression on this hunk of a man was complex, as if he were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow, unable to fly and nearing its end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out. To us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. Mm -hmm. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. Really? <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. Ugh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. Hmm. <laughs> uh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Uh, darn it! <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Man, I'm sorry, uh, but sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. What to the rock? To drown a thousand sorrows. <laughs> Hello? Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. I got these gems for you. Oh? <laughs> oh. 
You, you're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. Mm -hmm. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> mm -hmm. You really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh? <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's so fucking gone. <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. I, I don't. They say it loves to appear to jump people, especially the ones who are passed out <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> oh my god. How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's so pissed. He's like, this is fucking stupid. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> <sighs> Bro. Please. You're Zanker. You want to talk to me? Sure. But nothing too sensitive, okay? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. <sighs> so, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. <laughs> So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Ah, oh, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. Mm. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, Covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. Hmm. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Boy. Oh my god. Sorry, hold on. I'm, I clearly haven't explored this place before. Oh, okay. First time playing pool on a... Merchant security. Uh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Here, I got these gems for you. Is this? A gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. <laughs> Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? <laughs> no. Not... Come on. Um... Neither. Poor gambler, I know. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape.
Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm. Hmm. The devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Hmm. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Nope. Uh, Where the gems in my bag are running clearly low. a meme. <laughs> I know. Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just. Uh, I just need to do something real quick. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, he's running low on gems. Oh boy. This is the one. It has to be. Who are you? Uh oh. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Oh my god, it's her. Look at you. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Quick your dead face. No, don't. wait, what kind of face did I make? No! Oh my god. Where am I? Nothing special, bro. <laughs> Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Hmm. Yep. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Befriend a mute? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. Unlike you, he lets everyone down. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. What do you mean? Hmm? 
You know better you than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Being a mute? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable oh. to speak ever again. <laughs> You'll be dead soon. Just no, no. But it's a good thing if you ask me, because. Mhm. Mm because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Are you? Oh. Why else do you think <laughs> I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? Wait, does it? Mean... <laughs> Oh my god. All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well, I can make that happen. Really? I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. What is with that bird? And what if I say no? Huh. Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. Huh. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? Huh? Hold on. No. <laughs> Hold on. Let me tell Here you something. Go. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Who's the other mute? It's a him. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured destruction button. And hey. I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. Isn't that the same button as you gave Black Swan? If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, oh no, blowing no, up no, the chessboard no. isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, Feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Hmm. 
Man, Aventurine's getting certain relics from <laughs> from people. No, oh, deadly button, huh? <laughs> Well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Oh. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panagoni. <laughs> I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will Coming crumble. <laughs> I know, right? People will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Aww. Oh, oh, deadly button. <laughs> when that time comes, go ahead, press the button. Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? <laughs> It's red. He just got marked. Uh, he, he just got, um, branded. So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Commodity Silence. code. I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. No. <sighs> The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. Oh my god. Now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Fuck you, bro. Bro, baby girl, yeah. Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other the slaves. Mute is, is he? Yeah, it's a he. I don't know who it is. Um, Misha? No. It's, um, hmm, I don't know. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Play a game with You're them. insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. Shut the fuck up. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Are you gonna earn it? Huh. You really wanna know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. 30 Deal? tanba? That's a lot. What? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Bro. Bro. 
Fuck that. I hate it here. I hate it here, really, because it crashed. Oh my god. Good. No. Game was like, okay, enough of that. <laughs> Anyways. Hold on a second. Oh my god. What is this? New. This one. I want to punch him too, don't worry. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, it's taking a long while. There you go. Did you stream? Shut up. <laughs> what was that? Oh. No, not that one. I still have this in my frigging capture. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, that face is so good. Don't let me turn. Please don't let me turn you down twice. Ah, I love him. He's fucking crazy, but I love him. I I want more crazy angels. <laughs> angelic characters, angelic looking characters that are crazy, oh, bro. Huh. What brings you here, Gallagher? Happy Easter, Henry. <gasps> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Hello. Hi. Oh my god. I wish you were a playable character. <laughs> Seriously, honkai ladies need more, more clothes. Like you. Like you do. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, She's an angel. but we draw the line at She has Halo! Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> she... she uh, it's... the funny thing is, I know she's an NPC. But she's more designed than others. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Sir Fall. You're right. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Four star quality. Who's Sir Vall? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? <laughs> She's from a different planet, bro. <laughs> but, but you two can hook up if you want. I think, I think she'll like you. Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Hmm. Hold on. Thank you. 
Bro, she looks cool. She does. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Okay. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. Oh my god. You can help yourself <laughs> to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> She's so flirty. I like it. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Yeah. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. <laughs> Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. She's getting rizzed, yeah. Hmm. Hold on a second again. Oh my god. I need her confidence. Same. Same. I'm sorry, why are we collecting ingredients? My baby girl is dying in 16 system hours. What are we doing? Oh god. Okay. Okay, let me grab this. Hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus for Siobhan. Hmm. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. I can only imagine how intense that scene must have been. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, <laughs> opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. If I do that, I'm gonna get slapped. Yeah. Um... Shaban has pretty privilege, privilege. Come on. If I try to raise someone up like that too, I'll get like fucking dirty looks. Like looks good. Right to hunt me for. Seriously. 
I guess I need to solve this one. I'm going to tell her to shut up. Or <laughs> say Okay. I'm good, okay? I I I am good. Ursai. Is that all? Oh. It's not included. Okay. Um, this one? It's so glad. But I thought they didn't sell so glad at the bar. Now, <laughs> let's give it a shake. Nice. It's still busy and has a long shelf life. Hmm. Maybe someone else brought it here. That's possible. You see Soul Glad everywhere these days. So it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. All right. Stay out of my... Whoa. <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amaki? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Hmm. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Huh. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Hmm. Amiki is a simp. I, I don't know, bro. Um, how come we've been new here? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Sounds like she does not know as no, yes, yeah. Will of preservation! I need to shield up for this. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Siobhan just said anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can view with different drink ingredients. I've seen it. 
The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world, no matter what it takes. Bro. <laughs> Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. Mickey poured a peak of white grape soda into her tall glasses as the rooms clinked. Crisp. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. I just don't get why she won't leave. Sad. Creepy. I know, right? It's ridiculous, right? Uh, what I'm doing is creepy Our too, like changing the emotions. Never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and <sighs> you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Shut up, you're Even embarrassing. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was oh unmatched. I know she probably thinks <sighs> I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. They could find your goblet. <sighs> She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try. I just don't get. You don't get anything, bro. Jerks! They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. I don't feel bad for her, I just feel pity. Like, well, we're playing with, yeah, yeah. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Bye. Amaki has left? That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. <laughs> okay, okay, Gallagher. Gallagher. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. Yeah, if someone says no, let it go, just leave, yeah. So, go ahead. 
Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. I'm Gary, do you Nice you work. Say? Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? I don't have the dream syrup. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Where is it? Dokuni. Oh, oh. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note under <laughs> Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? <gasps> On my trash. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way. The words on the note are changing. <laughs> Happiness is the dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? <laughs> Something feels weird about this. Oh, my precious trash. <laughs> Recycled one trash. <laughs> Right future? It's not the one that I need. Choto. <gasps> what is this? Down here, it's just up there, right? Theater of the mediocre. Damn it. Alright, so I'm kind of running out of time. So I'll need to do this second. Uh, uh, I, I still have a long way to go, right? I feel like I do have a long way to go. I, I haven't done the boss battle yet. Um, so I think I'll stop here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I, I should be here. Trying to look for ingredients.
Oh shit. Please. Are <laughs> you run? I don't know where the dream thing is. Our ingredients are found the bar. I don't see it. Bar. Wait, wait. Who do you like to drink with your really customer? So look at the show for the show for the water bar. How about the Patricia? Pika. Oh, there it is. I think. Oh, check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. Oh okay. yeah. And the label reads, "Dream Syrup, Thick." I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is half an amber era ago. What the fuck? Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. <laughs> Me, but I thought we could drink anything in dreams. Uh, that's true. But this really doesn't seem fresh. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? <laughs> Don't worry, it's all just a dream and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a... Refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I'm gonna leave this here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. That is long. Um. Yeah, I still have a long way to go, I believe. Um. I don't know when I'll, I'll start it. Uh, maybe, um. I do have something tomorrow. Just dark wood. But I think I'll play Star Rail tomorrow before five before uh, seven PM. <laughs> Alright. I just wanna finish the story. I'm seeing spoilers everywhere. You know why? You know why I wasn't surprised about the fucking betrayal? Because I saw it. I saw some a bit of a cutscene and it's just um, it's, it's it's a gif of of um, of adventuring, like looking like 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 surprised at Sunday, and Sunday's just smirking, and Rachel's just turned his head away. I'm like, whoa, intense scene, like. <laughs> uh -huh. The ratio betrayal. Um, I I wanna I wanna see I wanna see the rest AS, AS, ASAP because I low key wanna look at fan arts already. <laughs> That's the main reason. <laughs> Bro, cranberry, no stop with. <laughs> Sadly, I I think I know what Gallagher is. You need to stay out from social media. Yeah, I know, but it's everywhere. People are talking about it, even in Facebook and I look at Twitter. I thought it was filled up has been hotel stuff, but it's not apparently. I I, I still see some Honka Star Rail up in there. Keep passing away. <laughs> oh, uh, I haven't seen something yet, which is Acheron stuff. 
I haven't seen um um the trailers for Acheron. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? I'm not gonna look for that cutscene. I'm gonna look for um, trailers. Stars so good people can stop talking. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm seeing it everywhere, bro. Wow, <laughs> wow, All right. Okay. Okay, stop. <laughs> pom pom. All right, I haven't seen um this one too. All right, I'll check this one out. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Ooh, the because art some style. time has passed when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here. They wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. <gasps> to save the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the Twelve Sentinels. The first was Truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. Whoa. It could teach mortals the way of the law, and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The second was Sky, forged by the Eternal Zenith. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It could form a barrier Animated. the firmament, and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. The third was Hal, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens, and meteors to rain down divine punishment. The fourth was Mist, able to break earth and tear Mist. cloud with biting wind and rain. The fifth was Frost, Frost. freezing the land in an instant. The okay, sixth was Fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Ooh. Then there was Flare, Thought, Ruth, Thought. Form, Bind, Maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectations. That's a lot of swords. Winning victory after victory. Until... All of them were broken. Right. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. It's and own planet, end, I know, right? That entirety was lost. I mean, China is its own and planet. And so we Chenjo Zumo Lofu. splintered 12 sentinels. Well, it's a fleet, but still. them into two bearers. The first was origin. The second was end. The world forged 70,047 blades. And Whoa. only one could save Izumo. She's so cool. But you and I both know. The road to salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything, more for the destruction of two oh. worlds. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into Not. Oh. Bro. 
Oh my god. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet. And yet. Oh, bro. Akron. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Pentacle. The Charmony Festival is here, and guests from all walks of life have arrived. Four of this, right after the break. Apply your color. Oh, that's the, uh... <gasps> Sparkle? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Illusion or reality. Care to guess? Blade! <laughs> Either way, dusk swing and two shall fall. Bro. <laughs> what did you say? Oh my god. Do your worst. <laughs> Blade, bro. Our existence is fleeting as dawn's do. <gasps> Destined to oblivion. What was that? On the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. I weep for the departed. Bring forth the gleam of old blades. Restore this lost memory. Bro. Apply your color. I've seen her before. Find me. Find me. Your end. My origin. Robin? All that is past. Has we never wanted to be our living. Bro, it's the Akron. Eventually disappear in the rain. She killed the Annihilation Gang, bro. There's like more than five of them. There is nowhere to go. I think. Bro. Oh my god. The animation. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, sparkle. Whoops. Apply your color. Find me. I think that's Robin. I'm stab you another thing. Yeah. I think it's this one. That's the one that has apply your color. Yeah, it's Robin. Apply your color. Fucking ad. <laughs> I would crash your phone so they can change it. I mean, uh, if they can change it into something like better, I guess. All right. Okay. So the commercial thing has its own thing. So it's basically Robin looking like uh, Acheron <laughs> in that one. She has horns too. Anyway. <laughs> I, I think I, sh I saw... I saw the... Yeah, it's why. <laughs> it's not my money. Um, I, th I think I saw... Um, clips? Clips of... Um, Blade versus Acheron. But I didn't know that Kafka and... 
um, Silver Wolf were there too. I, I just remember um, like seeing Blade and Akron fight. And people were like, oh my god, the gays and lesbians are fighting. Pressure <laughs> of Thunder? Yep, yep, yep. Maybelline, Maybelline makeup line. Well, that's the intention. It's supposed to be like a makeup thing that was used for uh, Acheron's trailer. Um, on the billboard or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so... The plan for tomorrow will be, since I'm not done with this yet, I'll see how long I'll be able to finish it um, from 5 p.m. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it by um, by 7 p.m. so that I can start Darkwood by 7 p.m. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was so slow with this. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I still haven't gone to the boss fight yet. Do you think I'll be able to finish it in, in two hours? I, st I stopped with bartender, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have time anymore. <laughs> I, I need to end stream um, soon. Um, you won't finish it in time. Okay, okay. Alright, do you think I'll be able to finish it in two hours? Um, tomorrow or will it be longer the next adventure in POV will be long I see I see okay uh, uh. I, I want a dark wood though I want a dark wood you know what uh, let's make it three hours let's make um 8 p.m. for dark wood maybe um, and then any extension after that Thanks to dialogue, it would save you time Yeah, but I want to appreciate the voice actors, bro Did you hear? Um, the, um <laughs> Welcome to, 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 to <laughs> To the tour <laughs> I like that part um, the NPCs. <laughs> oh, exactly. We need more kakabasha. Yeah. All right. Sand pit moment. Yeah, I love the sand pit part. <laughs> I think it's everyone's favorite. Probably. Maybe not. I'm lying. But. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Tomorrow. Um er, er, er. <laughs> Queen Yeah, she's she has a bell on her phone now, so you'll kill her cling, 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 when she's awake. <laughs> she bought a bell thing um back in Cost Carney Cost Carnival and <laughs> Whenever she walks around, you just hear her jingle. <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> anyway. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Let's let's see each other again tomorrow, okay? Okay? Cost Carney, yeah. I talked about it last um, Monday. Uh, Holy Monday. Alright, okay. Um, see you guys tomorrow, okay? See you. I'm gonna make some noise. No, I'm gonna make some room now, okay? Bye bye. Take care. Rappy co coasters. What? Rappy? Oh. Bye.